Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 15 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 15 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 15 minutes. So all this here may look like a couple weeks worth of time. It's actually just today's price action, really just today's afternoon price action broken down into 15 minute time slices. Cause yeah, this one was creeping up slowly and then all of a sudden the afternoon hit and you know, the news hit and the volume and such followed. So yeah, definitely a lot of eyeballs on this one now going forward. So let's map out some levels of support and resistance and see if this is you know the start of something much bigger or not. So let's first start by talking about areas of support and the ideal level of support going forward. And we say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest? That would be if the price can stay up above three cents. Now don't get me wrong, if the price falls below three, I am not saying that the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can manage to somehow stay up above three cents, that would certainly be a huge sign of power going forward. Next level of support after that, down here at, what is that, 0.024. So 0.03 and 0.024, two of the near-term levels of support. Taking a step back and looking at things from definitely the big picture point of view. So this assumes you have a broader time horizon on things, but that's where the purple line comes into play. The 50 period, simple moving average. I get it, the price is way up there. That line's way down there, but keyword there being moving. So as time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So the kind of very straightforward and very easy way to judge the overall health of the move this right here being defined as quote unquote, the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that purple line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. You know, that's what would be represented. Again, sure, staying above three cents, that is preferable, that would be ideal. However, grand scheme of things viewpoint, as long as the price is above the purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about areas of resistance? Initial area where the sellers seem to be hanging out at right here at 0.038. And after 0.038, it's kind of like a little miniature blue sky breakout because technically speaking, next level of resistance is not until where the party stopped. And that was up there at about 0.049. I'm not saying that if 0.038 is broken within two seconds, it's gonna be up to 0.049. But again, just technically speaking, there's just a big space between those areas. So that's why I'd consider, you know, 0.038 kind of a, a little miniature blue sky breakout, if you will. All in all though, anyway, look at it. Big volume today, nice price action. So let's sit back and see if the bulls can build upon this momentum or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.